Whether you're creating videos for YouTube or for personal or business use, the video editor you use can make all the difference. In a prior video, I showed you the best free video editors, which are great for handling simple tasks. In this video, I will show you the top five premium editing programs that can improve the overall quality of your videos. In testing, numerous factors were considered to determine the best, with features available, cost, and ease of use being the most important. After I show you the top pick, I will give you a mini tutorial of the program that I use for creating videos here on YouTube. Let's get started. Starting off at number five is Curl Video Studio Ultimate, which is one of the most affordable premium options available. It allows you to edit your HD, 4K, and 360 degree VR media with support for most of the popular file formats. There are more than 2000 filters and effects included. You can easily resize and crop and apply pan and zoom effects to your video. In addition, there is now a 3D title editor and includes more than 100 animated templates to create cool looking titles. Video Studio Ultimate is only available for Windows. There's a limitation of up to 20 video tracks and the rendering speed is not the quickest. But other than that, it's a good value for a one-time fee of around 100 bucks. And right now, they have it on sale for around 80. In at number four is Vegas Pro Edit, which used to be owned by Sony before being acquired by Magic Software in 2016. It offers one of the best easy to use interfaces that can be customized to suit your needs. Their latest version offers full 4K support with several great features, including automatic crossfades, instant freeze frame, media management and performance tools, along with support for many popular file formats, including support for raw photo files. For most people, Vegas Pro Edit will be all that they need, and right now it's available for $199. They also offer Vegas Pro with additional features for $399 and their subscription service, Vegas Pro 365, will set you back $16.67 per month. All the products in the Vegas Pro line are only available for Windows. Unit number three is DaVinci Resolve Studio, which is the paid version of their software. Unlike their free version, DaVinci Resolve Studio adds support for 4K and higher with frame rates up to 120 FPS. It's been designed for professionals with most of the tools you would ever need. Their built-in fusion effects allow for cinematic quality visual effects and highly detailed color correction. DaVinci Resolve Studio has a high learning curve. It has a one-time cost of $299 and is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. If you don't want to spend the coin, their free version is also worth checking out. In the runner-up spot at number two is Apple's Final Cut Pro X for those of you that own a Mac. Even though it lacks a traditional timeline found on most modern video editors, it does come packed with many powerful features. In addition to HD and 4K, it also supports 360 degree footage and HDR. Multicam support is also included that lets you sync up to 64 angles of video with different formats, frame sizes, and frame rates. Final Cut Pro is available for a one-time fee of around $300. In the top spot at number one, Adobe Premiere Pro CC is the best user-friendly video editing software that you can get. It offers support for HD, 4K, 360 VR content, and HDR video. Not only is the interface easy to use, it's also customizable to fit your needs. There's no limit to the number of video tracks that you can have in your project. It's feature-packed, it includes multicam editing, dozens of transition effects, and support for most of the popular file formats. New features are being added on a regular basis that continue to make it better. The only downside I've ever had with the program is that it requires an internet connection. So if you lose your internet because of a storm or any other reason, you won't be able to use this program. Other than that, it's easy to use, has a great user interface, and it's full of features that make it excellent for editing videos. Adobe Premiere Pro CC offers a seven day free trial with monthly plans starting at around $21 per month. Now that the countdown is done, I'll slow things down a bit. If you're new to Premiere Pro, I'll give you a quick tutorial going over the basics to help you get started. When you launch Premiere Pro, 
your screen should look similar to this. To begin a new project, select New Project. Here at the top, you want to give your project a name. It does not have to be the title of your video. I'll show you how to do that later on when exporting your project. Since this is a Premiere Pro tutorial, I'll just call this one PP Tutorial. Below that, click on Browse to choose the location where you want your project to be saved. Select the drop down arrow for Renderer. If you have the option to choose GPU acceleration, pick that one. Your video will render quicker later on when you export your video. Leave everything else the same and click on OK. Now this is the general layout for editing, so make sure you have editing selected here at the top. Here's your preview window, and below that is the timeline. Before we move any further, knowing the keyboard shortcuts will make editing a lot easier and quicker for you. To get familiar with the keyboard shortcuts, here at the top, select Edit. From the drop-down menu, select Keyboard Shortcuts. You can use the defaults, and you can edit them to suit your needs. To avoid confusion, I'll avoid the use of keyboard shortcuts for this tutorial. So let's exit out of here. To begin editing your project, you will need to import your videos, audio, images, or any other media that you need to use. If you have a single monitor, the easiest method for you would be to select File here at the top, then select Import. And then go find the folders and files that you need to work with. Those will show up here in the lower left. Then you can just drag and drop them onto the timeline. I work with a multiple monitor setup, so I find it easier to drag individual files from an open folder and drop them on the timeline. And as you can see, Premiere Pro recognizes that this is both an audio and video file. So you'll see the video is on a video track and the audio is listed here on an audio track. I find it best to go down here to the scroll bar and grab the circle on the end and drag it left so I can see more of the clip. To see more of the audio track, when you see the double bars with the double arrows show up, you can drag this down to make it easier to see the audio. To remove anything that is not needed from your clips, go to the Timeline Toolbar and select the Razor Tool. In the timeline, select a beginning and an end for the portion that you'd like to cut out. The normal keyboard shortcut I use for this is Control shift and letter K. Go back to the toolbar and enable the Selection Tool. Select the portion from your timeline that you'd like to cut out and hit Delete on your keyboard. To remove the dead space, just right click in the empty space and select Ripple Delete. And then just repeat this process for any other portions that you would like to get rid of. Adding an audio file to your timeline is easy as well. Just drag and drop it onto the timeline. To see the audio better, just do like we did before. To the left, where you see the double lines, double arrows, just drag down. You may not want your audio to be very loud, so right click the file and select Audio Gain. It defaults to Adjust Gain By. I prefer Set Gain To. You can hover your mouse over the decibel number and left click drag left or right to adjust the volume. I prefer putting in a set number, so I just left click and enter in a number on my keyboard. When done, select OK. I will now add another clip to the timeline to the right of the one I first added. And I'll use my scroll wheel to move to the right. Many of you ask how I create transition effects for my videos. Many of those are preset in Premiere Pro. Here at the top, Select Effects. And over here to the right, you'll find many settings. For audio, you would select Audio Transitions, but right now, we'll do Video Transitions. And one you see in many videos is Dissolve. So I'll select Cross Dissolve, left click and drag it down to the timeline, where it appears slightly on both clips. And we'll see what this looks like here. Not too bad. And there's a ton of transitions that you can use. When you're done editing your video, you will need to export it. To do that, select File here at the top. Move your cursor down to Export and select Media. First, you'll want to select your format. H.264 is what I use. Then go down and select your preset. 
and you'll see that they have a ton of presets available, including ones down here for YouTube. So just select the one you want to use. You'll want to create an output name, which should be the title of your video by selecting it. Name your file and then hit save. And when you're done making your changes, selecting Q will add your project to a list of videos to be exported. But if this is the only video that you plan to export, select export. And then your video, depending on the size, should take several minutes to render. In this mini tutorial, I just showed you some of the basics. And as you can see, it's not too difficult. For more detailed tutorials using Premiere Pro, there are tons of resources on the internet. So check those out. That concludes this video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully it helped you out. If it did, give this video a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and bell notification icon for more top fives, tutorials, and other tech related stuff from Tech Gumbo.